What's up, everyone? We have been fighting here in the Dark Ruins, and we've been getting really good kills so far. So, we are currently using a Buriga and Neb. So, let's uh, do a bird's eye view here, and let's get starting to fight. And we've been doing a really good job in here so far. Alright? Um, I really like the combo that we've been doing. And I've been playing on my iPad Pro, and it's been really nice. Playing here in a computer, changing the screen is a little bit difficult right now. A little different, not difficult, but a little, little different. Since the screen with the iPad, it's a little bit bigger, actually. Um, let's move over here. We kind of got trapped there. I don't like what I did there. Um, let's try to attack this guy here. And target eliminated, I think. Um, just bring in the mic a little bit closer to me. All right, we're engaging on an attack. I think playing in a bird's eye view here, it's actually the the best way to do things. And let's see how we performed here. 2,000, uh, 23K. Ooh, that's huge. That's probably T4, though. That is most likely a T4 unit. All right. Let's do this here. Um, don't go past this point. We got to follow the markers. So the biggest advice and biggest tip that I want to give you is really follow the markers of your officers within your kingdom or within your alliance because um, your team moves along the way as how um, the markers are being uh, placed. So we've done some great job in here. Look at this um, Nevsky and Joan of Arc just get annihilated by us. Uh, that's T4 units. You know, that's a lot of kills. It's a lot of, you know, heal for them. I wish I can do a just minor zoom. There we go. There's a minor zoom. Um, minor zoomed out, I think. Uh, let's see. Let's attack this one over here. Um, it says don't go past that point. So I'm trying to try my best not to go beyond beyond the line as well. Try to target anyone coming in into our area. We still got 308. I kind of got hit there earlier. I lost a lot of troops right about 60, 60K, I think, or 40K, I think. So that really, you know, I could have had a lot bigger march if I didn't make a mistake earlier. But that's that, that happens within the game. Let's see who can play this game, all right? I want you guys to guess and comment in the comment section below and see which one of you can guess the closest kill points I have currently. So as I'm battling right now, of course, my kill points is increasing. As I show my kill points... Let's see who in the comment section below can guess it right. I'll uh, give you guys a little hint as well, since I've been a little bit busy. Um, you know, I was only able to play during the time that I am free, just like now, which is currently at 2 a.m. here in the Philippines. All right. It's currently 2 a.m., so I've been playing right around 1 a.m. earlier. And we've also been refreshing our troops and trying to fight in here as well. All right, oops, why did I not fight over there? There we go, engaged. We are currently engaged right now. It's really hard to see, especially with all these markers. kind of annoying. It's like blocking the view. Like, I think if there's markers to be dropped, maybe put it on the side instead. Because it's really difficult to kind of battle in here with the markers. Um, 3K, 2K. We're doing pretty decent on the trades in here. Uh, there we go. Uh, all right, let me let me check the. There's some slight. I don't think there's any lag, but there's a bit of a delay sometime, even on the zoomed out version of fighting here. They're not seeing where I'm at right now, so oh, my screen is turning red, so that's not good. We're we're getting engaged in battle. All right, let's let's fight them back in here. Um, two seventy eight. I don't think I like the trades of what I've done here in this round because I think I could have done a lot better. All right. Um, in this type of gameplay, you almost cannot tell like who to target because we're playing this at a zoom out version. Uh, I think this is the easiest way to fight. This is the easiest way to fight, especially with no delay and no massive lag. Like when I was in 14, 12, um, I would play and fight in this type of scenario, but as soon as I try to pull out, you know, my commander is, like, already way deep inside the enemy territory. It's, like, it's hard to pull out during that type of, you know, type of situation. 
pulling out in that type of uh, situation is almost uh, impossible because, you know, you're like way deep inside the enemy territory. All right, let's try and target that one. Hopefully get one other kill and then 265. I'm just going to refresh because I like to have a lot of troops inside in, in this battlefield. Uh, let's try to... Okay. All right. It's time to kind of head back. We're kind of going a little bit way deeper than uh, that I want it to be. Um, let's take a look into the battle reports. Trades are good. Pretty decent. Um, trades were a lot better when I was playing on my iPad, actually, because I'm able to kind of do a little bit more precise zoomed in. All right, 4K. There we go. I mean, honestly, all the trades are pretty, pretty good with this um, Burika and Neb. So a, a few things that I changed in here is I also changed the um, the support skill. I added the uh, the uh, leadership in here instead. Uh, earlier, what did we have? We had the uh, different skill from El Cid, and then we're also using the um, Cyrus skill there. So that could have made some changes in here onto the battle report, but you can see we've been doing a really great, you know, really great job. All right. You can see consistent, um, good trades so far. Okay. This one doesn't have really good trades in the battle report, but look at that 34 K again, that's T4. Most likely I would be very surprised if I do a 34 K kill on a t5 this is probably a t5 a t4 as well there's a lot of t4 in this seed which which is really nice it makes me really powerful um when attacking them because of course t4 against t5 you know definitely have an edge as a t5 player and also have a pretty decent tech so let's take a look into my tech um, my technology for the crystal is pretty decent at this moment. I didn't buy the mountain bundle. Um, you can see the improved bow, 10 out of 10. You know, pretty decent. And we got the attack formation, 10 out of 10 already. So that's huge. We got call of the arms, 6 maxed out for this current stage. And then 9 out of 10 on the improved bow, 3. So pretty good. Um, I think we have a pretty good uh, crystal technology this time compared to what I've done in the past because I've, you know, uh, put a little bit more effort into the game uh, or into this KVK, into getting the crystal tech. Maybe to simplify it, I've made a purchase instead. Um, so we're going to come back out in here and continue some fight as we refresh. We'll come back out there and, you know, destroy more of our enemies and as the pass, you know, uh, and as the ruins open, we're going to have to capture this ruins. Um, need five marches here. I guess they're trying to flank us in here. So far, what I can say. Oh, it's opening. Oh, God. Um, I want to be in here. Um, okay, so maybe this is going to be cutting short. I'm just going to send my troop here instead. We're about 13 seconds left, so I'm just going to resend my march back into the uh, Altar of Darkness. And um, I think we've we've secured this. This is, you know, it's all from our team in here. I wish I was there right away. I could have gotten the first, some of the stalker kills. I didn't pay attention to time, but that's fine. Let's send back out our march and get into the ruins. All right. Um, so far in this KVK, for what I can see, is that we're really in the leading uh, leading hand on this KVK. So I would definitely, I definitely feel a lot of confidence that in Kingsland, uh, we will be very much be dominating against our opponents. Uh, we pretty much locked them up in here. You know, we've pretty much locked them up in here, and. You know, we're winning under the ruins. We're fighting the fire camp. And we're doing a really great job. And uh, I think our kingdom is a little bit stronger than them. Or at least, at least I would say a lot more fighting uh, fighting capability. All right. So before we end this video, as I mentioned, we're going to take a look into my achievements. 
it is currently at 4.7 million kills and severely wounded and we're also gonna keep on increasing that as i get more time to play the game of course um i'm still in the philippines so my time is a little bit different than when i am uh, at home um let's take a look into the war of conquest and give some highlights in here for our you know opponents and allies um you can see these are some of the players that are in the top spots and we got some of our players here like skinzy we got uh, Tano Roadnail, and who else in here in 81 Morningstar? All right, we got some of our players there in here. If you see your friends in here, shout out to them. Jake the Sav, Kill Matt, Angel in here under the top. I'm trying to move my way up in here. We got 8.6 million points so far. Anyway, Rockers, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again next time. Peace out, buddies.